Sony, chances are you own something made by them. Synonymous with Japanese engineering, quality, and entertainment. But car audio, no. Believe it or not, Sony has quietly been dipping their feet into an arena run by titans. Pioneer, Kenwood, Alpine, for decades they've been mastering dashboard entertainment. So you might ask yourself, who does Sony think they are? And more importantly, can they play? Meet the new Sony XAV AX100. Like Pioneer, Kenwood, and Alpine, you'd be right in noticing striking resemblances and similarities with its sleek front display and its double din faceplate. And unlike most double din radios, this one has a single din chassis. And the XAV kind of looks like an Apple product. It's minimalistic but elegant, well built, user friendly, and it just feels familiar, like I've used it before. Also, like Apple in the headphone jack, the disc slot is gone. Bold move, Sony, but not a bad strategy. Thanks, Apple. Sony has fitted the XAV AX100 with a 6.4 inch clear resistive touchscreen to keep costs down. However, is the resistive screen less responsive than a capacitive screen? In use, I found very little to dislike about it. Speeds were about the same, but there was a difference in touch. Capacitive screens feel like glass, like your smartphone, but a resistive screen feels almost foreign with that layered film on top of it, like kind of artificial. Directly next to the screen are command buttons and a rotary dial. There's just something about physical buttons and a volume knob on a radio that comforts me. Call me old fashioned, but I know where they are and I don't need my eyes to find them. Not only does the rotary dial handle volume control, but it can also summon Siri and Google Assistant from the depths of their smartphone dungeons. Pressing the dial exposes the quick access menu to vital audio settings such as bass and EQ. In the history of mankind, there have been many epic battles. David vs. Goliath, Allied vs. Access, Pepsi vs. Coke, and now we have Apple CarPlay vs. Android Auto. It's always cost a pretty penny just to enter the battle. Flagship models have been forcing you to empty your wallets just to partake in the glory. But no longer must you watch from your budgeted standing room only tickets. At a fraction of the cost, Sony lets you partake in the spoils of war. And Sony isn't just putting all of their chips in on red or black. Both iOS and Android applications work with the XAV and both require a connection via USB. The connection transfers control of several internal apps as well as third-party ones to the radio. So what's the big deal with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? Why are they so useful? Why are they so important? The real question should be who doesn't need a virtual assistant to help them keep their eyes on the road while they're in the car? One in every four car accidents in the United States are caused by distracted driving from cell phones. That's 1.6 million per year. And responding to just one text message takes up about five seconds of your attention. That means if you're traveling at 55 miles per hour, that's enough time to travel the distance of a football field without knowing what's going on in front of you. <laughs> to assist you in messaging, Apple CarPlay gives you control over iMessage, and Android Auto gives you control over third-party apps like Kick, Skype, and WhatsApp. In regards to the rest of your apps on your phone, not all will work. Music apps like Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, yes, but swiping right for Tinder matches, no. Apple CarPlay gives you voice control over Siri, and Android Auto gives you voice control over Google Assistant. Both help you make and receive phone calls, plus send text messages and read back received messages. Text Sal. What do you want to say to Sal? See you at Chloe's in 10 minutes. Calling Lorenzo DiMichele, mobile.
Hello? Yeah, cut it. And sure enough, at this point of our review, we were inevitably kicked out of our favorite filming location. Both also offer navigation using your internal maps application and GPS. And we all know how well Apple Maps stands up to Google Maps. I'll take Google Maps any day despite owning an iPhone. Just to be clear, you cannot display Google Maps on Apple CarPlay even though you have the app downloaded. When connected to Apple CarPlay, you can still access your iPhone and go through it. However, when connected with Android Auto, your phone is inaccessible unless disconnected. It seems like Google is more focused on the interface of Android Auto. CarPlay seems to be an afterthought on Apple's priority list. Maybe they should rethink that headphone jack too. Sony's top priority was to make a great radio and they knocked the display out of the park. The 6.4 inch touchscreen is full color and is an active matrix, meaning it holds up better against sunlight and off access viewing. The display offers razor sharp clarity, vibrant colors and excellent contrast. For the last decade, manufacturers have blindly stuck with disc media, forcing us drivers to fiddle around with CD and DVD cases. To upgrade the disc, a USB supports high resolution audio, HD video, and JPEG images. To further Sony's top priority, they could not neglect the audio settings. To start, they fitted the radio with a 4x55 watt dynamic reality amplifier. To fine tune DSO dynamic stage organizer makes up for irregularities in shoddy speaker mounting locations. The 10 band EQ helps with controlling frequency response. For additional control and optimization, there is a high and low pass filter subwoofer phase and level, plus balance and fader. As you'd expect, the XAV features modern amenities like Bluetooth. And a backup camera input with adjustable parking grid guidelines. However, despite its many up-to-date qualities, we would have loved to see an HDMI on the radio. And to see what's what in the rear, we have the connections. And what would a radio be without its accessories? The XAV comes with a Bluetooth microphone, USB extension, and wireless remote control. As a final thought, Sony has stayed true to their heritage of high quality engineering, endless entertainment, and cutting edge technology. And on that note, it's time to end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't, leave any comments below and click that like button. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.